We have your child. What are your demands? Are you out of your mind? The daycare's closing soon. Come and get him now. Ugh, you're so boring. Hello friends, welcome back to MK. My name is Jack the Snack That Smiles Back. And today you are joining me in some delicious face palming. So, oil up those foreheads because you're going to need it. Let's go. Anyone who has ever worked in an abortion clinic knows that tons of women who claim to be anti-abortion get abortions. They do a neat mental trick where their abortion is justified. Considering I read a story on Reddit where a uh, daughter found their dead father's phone that showed him as a very strict conservative man and smexting with uh, transgender women while also being completely against those people who identify as that, I'm not surprised this is a thing. At the clinic I worked at, we used to put a pink sticky note on their chart to give a heads up to the back office staff. That way you'd be prepped for the hostility. I had a woman tell me I would burn in hell as I held her hand during her abortion. Ladies and gentlemen, the power of ego. You can achieve any sort of ignorance if you just put your mind not to it. Android game. You can watch a 30 second ad and revive. Me. No thanks. Android game. Plays a 30 second unskippable ad anyway and gives me nothing in return. And what was the point? Wow, I can't believe America is 2020 years old today. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th. Um, America is 244 years old. No, you don't understand. I'm a creationist. Oh. Yeah, You're I'm Christian. Stupid. I was accused of plagiarism by two professors and was given a big, long talk about how seriously it was taken. I was confused and crying by the end. Then they show me the art they think I copied and it was my own art from my own site that had popped up in a Google image search, shaking my head. This answering the question, what's the dumbest thing you got in trouble for in school? Imagine having the pride to say you bamboozled your professors. Went to get a haircut today. Barber. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a writer. Uh, what about you? Um. I'm a barber. We didn't speak for the rest of the haircut. I am happy to announce that I shall never be interacting with another human being again. On the bright side, look at you getting some more material to write about. Oh, when we both fall asleep. Oh, it's so cute that they caught us like this. So the bed bugs taking pictures for you then? No, silly. It was the demon who lives under our bed. They are very supportive of our cute and healthy relationship standards. Do you know how smexy it is when he teases you in bed with a bird leaf? <laughs> Uh, I'm t do you mean feather? No, silly, the plant that grows from birds. Uh, what? Look, I don't think straight when I am horny. I'm curious. What's the dumbest idea you have that you nevertheless believe will, if implemented, make the world a better place? If you don't use a turn signal, your car doesn't turn. Brilliant. I vouch this is a valid safety figure that should be incorporated into all vehicles. Hard to say. At least he wasn't a flat earther like the another guy I worked with. That guy also claimed that there are no black people living in Africa because they all moved to the US. I asked him how he knew that. He said he went to Africa and it was all white people just partying in the streets. I asked him where in Africa he went. I didn't expect the answer to be Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, the funding of your education system at work. 10 year challenge. 2012, $150,000. Minimum wage, $7.25. And in 10 years, this house is now valued at 550. The minimum wage, did that still still the same? No, no, you don't understand. We need people to suffer in society so that we can so I have money. Oh, positive. Ah, oh, damn. Hope you feel better. All the best to quarantine. Sending your prayers. I are you stupid? No, I'm positive too. I'm just saying, you know, it really sucks. I'll be applying for child support. Oh, no way. You gotta support a child too? Oh, wow, that really sucks. It's your child. Oh, oh, you're, you're breaking up. I, I can't hear you. What do you mean? This is over text message. Oh, I, can't, I can't hear you. Oh, the, 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 oh, the comments. Oh, that's everywhere. Oh. My third grader came home with this today from school. Excited to show me how he'd written his name in Chinese. I had to gently explain to him that this is... Uh... Extremely not correct. Oh dear lord, I have no idea of the Chinese language, and even I can see that this is incredibly stupidly wrong. No, but that you see, because it looks like a T, 
So therefore it's a T. That's just universal language. Being an independent contractor sucks for a lot of reasons, but it also affords you the unique ability to tell people to frick off in delightful ways. Hi, Caleb. I was just informed you weren't on the morning stand-up call this morning. How come? Uh, yeah, dude, I was asleep. I basically never joined those. Well, going forward, morning meetings are a requirement for employment at this place. I expect you to be on the next call tomorrow at 9 a.m. Ex- this Ah, man, that sucks for you guys, but I'm not an employee. My contract says nothing about required hours or daily meetings. You really need an attitude adjustment. If you aren't on the next call, you're fired. Your choice. Oh, you can fire me if you want, but you guys have to pay me through the 18th of next month regardless, so I'm definitely sleeping in tomorrow. Enjoy your meeting. <laughs> you guys really ought to read the contracts you have us sign sometime. It's pretty wild stuff in there. Please call me. No. Caleb, I miss you. No! Hi, I'm Angie McCarthy. I actually wore a bandana covering my face, nose down, to go to the bank today. Whole time I'm thinking, <laughs> I've convicted people on less evidence than this. You just made a terrifying point about our criminal justice system, which you didn't intend to make. Ha! <laughs> Ha, <laughs> oh no. Here's a supportive sticker implying that all religions should be able to coexist and respect each other's beliefs. Especially that despicable, disgusting MK cult religion there. Oh gosh, notorious for all their memes. Praying to their hilarious, sexy, and awesome gods that is Lexi, Robin, and Jack. Some still even worship the fallen angel Damien. But he's not like Lucifer or anything. He's like the cool guy that comes and visits every now and again. Out of respect for the Christian community, I request that the cross be left out of this sticker message as our beliefs do not support it and that our cross is being mistreated in this thank you for understanding with the love of the christian community jesus loves you Yo! i am offended that you consider us equal to other religions that's that's what they're saying that, that's what is they're saying i saw a girl post her spotify top artists on her instagram story with the caption so accurate like yeah it's accurate it's it's literally data. Ladies, if you frick one guy a day for $100, that's 365,000 you made in one year. Bichas with degrees not making that. Be your own boss. Yeah, bichas with degrees know that that will only add up to 36,500. Carlson, do not palm her. Carlson, palm a maths book and revise your maths equations. Yeah. UN votes to make food a right. The right to adequate food is realized when every man, woman, and child, alone or in community with others, has physical and economic access at all times to adequate food or means for its procurement. Here's the data. Over 186 countries in favor of this idea. These ones are not a UN state, five didn't vote, and only two are against. And dear lord, if this is not proof that not having the metric system equates to not desiring the right and safety of all your humans in your society, then I don't know what is. Correlate equals causation. You cannot deny the proof. Yes, I am a scientist. Mmm, it's very smart. Uh, what school you went to? Why? You look for meal. Your. I, I look what? I said you look for meal. Your? Huh? I don't know what a four meal your is. Mother <laughs> you look like I know you. Damn. Oh, four meal your. If the Earth is flat, do the Moon and all other planets are flat? Oh, the, the grammar there. No, there doesn't. Oh, oh, it's genetic. Now, let me get this straight. Aren't them was it? It's not genetic. It's spiral. Lock down the city. Have you ever ate a date? What, uh, ate a, a date? Yes. What's that mean? Like ate their ass? It's a fruit. Oh. Wow. Uh, 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 block, ignore. Oh, God. Doing my will. Needed some info from my brother. Messaged him to ask his address and job title. Failed to remember today was his birthday. Do you need my date of birth as well? Yes, but I know that. Do you definitely? <laughs> yes. You're 100% sure. Frick! Frick! Indeed. Did it happy birthday! Too late. No! Hi, this is Michael Post. We have had difficulties getting you on the Xbox data blaze. We require your email and password to get you back on our data blaze. Learn to spell at school.com. My pass is stupid kid with a one. Oh my god, you actually fell for it! 
gonna have fun getting hacked. CNBC, are you freaking high? The budget breakdown of a 25 year old who makes $100,000 a year and is excellent with money. Oh, I am already seeing a problem with this stupid assumption. Typical monthly spending over $2,000. There's dinning out, utilities, transportation, the Kel Pahoni, a house cleaner. Yeah, yeah, every 25 year old has their own personal house cleaner. Internet, only $20. <laughs> <laughs> Rent I-25. Donation. Donation. <laughs> Groceries, $400. Health insurance, $270. Wow. It's like a Ferris wheel, but the more you go around, the worse it gets. Disheartened by our failure. Massachusetts school apologizes after serving fried chicken to celebrate start of Black History Month. I mean, there's moments you completely miss the ball, and there's moments where the ball has just accidentally tapped into another dimension. Saving $28 every day in 2022 would give you 10K saved at year end. This could be the first down payment on your first investment property. 3 to 5% is first time buyer. Most people accidentally spend this each day on things they don't need. Be an investor, not a customer. Like, uh, consumer. Same thing. Let's just do some uh, quick, fast maths. Uh, that's uh, 196 a week. Yeah, everyone has that, you know, up to $200 just lying around that we always spend on those useless products like, you know, groceries. And, oh, you know what? It's those donations. That's the ones that's eating up our money, guys. God, why are we just so generous? Ah! How old were you when you realized your original plan of being really nice, working really hard, and taking on much more than you should in the hope you would be automatically rewarded for this without asking was totally schmidt. <laughs> Please, don't make me cry. $740,000 pound painting. Wait, is that euros? European currency is ruined after bored security guard draws eyes on the faceless figures on his first day in the job at Russian Gallery. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but the original? It, it genuinely looks like there's eyes on it. Am I, am I going insane? Am I seeing what the security guard saw? Well, my cheddar cheese muffins, it is time for some fan art, and today's work is by Ash Gremlin. They have done, did, dang it, try to add everyone, and do admit that they know the hand luges bad, but that's okay, I'm sure I will luge at it anyway. <laughs> I love that the reference to me is the, a, a card. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for this beautiful artwork, Ash Gremlin. And remember, you too watching this video, if you'd like to see your stuff in the next one, then why not post it in the MK subreddit? That is, of course, the end of today's video. I hope you had some fun. Make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell, and like this video, comment, blah, blah, blah. Do all the supportive things you do. With that said, though, my name has been Jack. You've been a wonderful snack, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!